The 1918 Spanish flu was the most severe pandemic in modern history with about 675,000 deaths just in the United States. We're only a few months into the COVID-19 pandemic, but are there similarities to what we saw then and what did we learn or perhaps have we forgotten? Eyewitness News reporter Rob McMillan explains. With controversy over masks. This mask symbolizes fear. And concern over closed churches. How long do we go with this? Much of what's happening with COVID-19 may seem extreme, but we've been here before over 100 years ago. We have to be patient. Dr. David Sloan is a history professor at USC who says unlike COVID-19, the first wave of the 1918 Spanish flu in the United States didn't seem that bad. It started quietly because it spread slowly. It started on a military base in Kansas. As soldiers went off to war, it begins to spread very rapidly in these incredibly closed, uh, dense spaces that uh, soldiers are in, and it begins to kill people pretty quickly. And by the fall, when the war was won, the soldiers started coming home. But all of that time on the battlefield and in the trenches had given the virus plenty of time to spread. This is an incredibly contagious flu, and so it's into dock workers, which means it's into communities. At the onset of COVID-19, beaches were closed, so was Disneyland. Similar actions were taken back then, too. Concerts, big gatherings, uh, parades, processions, and controversially, they closed churches. And many cities ordered people to wear masks. The rules about wearing them even more stringent back then. And they gave out hundreds, thousands of tickets from people unwilling to wear a mask. But while the COVID-19 response meant the forced closure of many of our businesses, that didn't happen as much back in 1918. Although they did make changes, photographs show barber shops and courthouses conducting business outside. And back then they didn't do physical distancing. If you look at the photographs, even, you know, there are all these people in these masks and they're like smooshed up together. Now, the second wave of the Spanish flu, which was the deadliest wave, was mostly attributed to all of the soldiers coming back from the war. While the situation is much different now, Sloan says there are things we can learn. I think we have to be innovative in our social thinking as well as our medical thinking. For example, staggered working hours. Half the people go back to work on Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Half go back to work Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. But just as the Spanish flu brought several waves, COVID-19 could do the same. We've always said that those who forget history are doomed to repeat it, and human nature is remarkably consistent, unfortunately. Riverside County Health Officer Dr. Cameron Kaiser. If we do the right things, we do what we know works, we're able to maintain things like social distancing and facial coverings and making sure that our most vulnerable members of the population are well protected, then you know what? We might be able to reopen safely and we might just get through. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Click the ABC7 logo to subscribe to our Eyewitness News YouTube channel.